John, thank you. A petition is gaining steam on social media demanding congressional leaders to expel Republican Congressman Mike Bost of Murfreesboro from Congress. Here's the petition circulating around social media this morning. It accuses Bost of ignoring feedback from constituents and voting along partisan lines with the Trump administration. So far, the petition has reached more than 1,200 signatures in about three days. And Bost was in Washington that day, ready to support objections to electoral college results in states Joe Biden won. Then the unthinkable happened, a scene straight out of a movie, an assault on Capitol Hill by supporters of President Donald John Trump. Prior to the attack, President Trump refused to concede to the election results. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. We will stop the steal. Let's have trial by combat. After President Trump's rally, his supporters invaded and destroyed parts of the Capitol in defiance of the traditional electoral count. And we're going to share footage that illustrates the scale and severity of this invasion. And what you're about to see is a police officer caught in between fellow officers and protesters. And let me remind you, this is not easy to watch. For your discretion is advised. <laughs> Five people died, including four protesters, one of them a female Air Force veteran who was shot inside the building. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick died from injuries sustained when he was hit in the head with a fire extinguisher. Protesters breached the Capitol and pushed their way through outnumbered security using violence. And Mike Boss condemned the attack, as did Republican Senators Kelly Leffler of Georgia and Lindsey Graham of South Carolina. Graham and Leffler withdrew their objections to the vote Bost did not change his vote and objected the results later that night. Part of a statement Bost said, thir said Thursday reads, The deeply troubling scenes at the U.S. Capitol yesterday indicate the intense distrust that many Americans have toward the election process. Bost signed on to a lawsuit with more than 100 other lawmakers that multiple courts, including the U.S. Supreme Court, said had no standing. Bost wasn't alone. Republican Congresswoman Mary Miller of Oakland condemned the attacks and called the election results tainted. Miller voted to object them on Wednesday night. And this week, Miller apologized after she said at a rally, Hitler was right on one thing. He said, whoever has the youth has the future. Missouri Representative Jason Smith of Cape Girardeau wrote about what he saw Wednesday. While condemning the attacks, he wrote about watching a woman get shot in this video you see here and later walking past her body as he was being escorted out. Smith, who supported President Trump's claims of voter fraud, voted to object the Electoral College results as well. He later criticized the Capitol's security, saying, quote, the House and Senate Sergeant of Arms and the U.S. Capitol Police Chief have resigned for their failure of leadership, but more must be done. And this is what leaders in our region say as Americans try and cope with the aftermath on the attack on our Capitol. And when Mike Bost was asked Friday if President Trump and others should be held culpable for the attacks, this is what he said. Do you feel like either of them are culpable in this? I don't, I don't think they're culpable. I do believe that, you know, many people have never liked how Donald Trump speaks. He's a, a, a New York business guy, and he kind of just lets it fly out there. Remember, he's never claimed to be a politician. Bost, Miller, and Smith have not responded to News 3 inquiries that were emailed them to them yesterday.